FSU homecoming is a magical week in Bemidji with the football game at the Apex. Saturday's big event brought Minot State into town for the Battle of the Beavers. Bemidji enters the contest 2-4 and four overall and 2-0 and oh in the NSIC North. Minot is yet to win a game. It's time to prove which Beavers are better. More than 3,200 fans pack into Chet Anderson Stadium and they have plenty to cheer about. BSU knocking on the door in the second quarter, fourth and one from the four. Ryan Shields finds his tight end, Tucker Forsgren, in the end zone for a 7-0 lead. Next possession, Shields fires down the left sideline to Bemidji native Brady Schmidt, all alone for the 24-yard touchdown reception. It's 14-0. To the second half, Bemidji up 17-3 until Shields connects with Schmidt again. He jukes the defender and cruises 43 yards to pay dirt. On to the fourth quarter, Minot makes it interesting, down 24-10 and threatening again. Zach Kuna goes to the end zone and Bemidji's Camille L. Corey picks it off and brings relief to the BSU faithful as he puts together a nice return short of the 30. Less than two minutes to go, Jonathan Albert Crombie finishes the drive with a nine-yard ground pound across the goal line to pad the lead. Bemidji wins by a final of 31-17, improving to 3-4 overall and 3-0 in the NSIC North. Her homecoming tradition, the win means the Beavers jump in the lake and then give cold and wet post-game interviews. Few people are happier than Brady Schmidt after his two-touchdown day in front of the huge home crowd. It feels awesome in the lake, and when you get a tradition like that and you get everybody surrounding you, it's, just, it's an awesome feeling. Bemidji's gang green defense dominated the contest, allowing only 185 yards and one touchdown while forcing two turnovers. We were just flying around, I mean, trying to make plays and playing together. We really played together as a unit today, and I think that was definitely keys to our success. The stars of the day were the defense. They just played great. I feel bad they got that last touchdown on them. With all that said, it's, it's good to get the win. We got plenty of things to work on, and we'll definitely do that Monday, but enjoy the day. The celebration may end early as the Beavers prepare for a major challenge. BSU travels to undefeated Minnesota Duluth Saturday afternoon. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.